Hey guys, it's Blue Designs and today I'm going to show you how to add finishing touches to your design. Quickly guys, before we get into the video, if you would like any cheap football shirts, check out MatchFit, the link will be in the description. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add finishing touches to your thumbnails. If you do want a video uh, of me showing you how to add finishing touches uh, to your banners, then hit the like button. If this video reaches 100 likes, then I will make a video on how to add finishing touches to your banners. This is a thumbnail uh, with player of the month uh, Sadio Mane uh, without the finishing touches. And now this is a thumbnail with the finishing touches as you can see it looks much better uh, with the simple effect uh, that I have added to it um, so the first effect is these uh, glowing particles that you don't have to add but I think it's a nice uh, touch so what you will need to do is uh, create a new layer um, select your foreground color i'm going to be using this gold dish uh, color uh, then press b to bring up your brush tool and um, with a hardness of uh, zero zero percent and a size of about let's say 500 500 um, hold and drag across uh, the player or whatever you want to add uh, the particles over and then set the blend mode to screen and decrease the opacity to about 50 percent sorry not 50 percent around um, 30 and then create a new layer over that and um, with a white brush with a size of about um, 20 to 50 depending on what you want to do um, just uh, click on various points uh, as I'm doing here once you're happy with the amount of particles you have added right click on the layer go to blending options uh, then select outer glow uh, make the blend mode normal uh, with the opacity as 100% for now and then use the same color um, that your initial brush was and then um, you can increase the size I think this is just about right and then decrease the opacity by a bit um, and then you want to go to inner glow uh, again follow the same steps with uh, the same color and as you can see it's a bit a bit too strong so I would decrease the opacity maybe increase the size by a bit and I think that looks just about right then uh, press ctrl e to merge uh, the two layers and I think it looks um, pretty nice so yeah I think it looks similar so the next uh, the next step is to add a spotlight um, you can add a white brush or a gold brush um, on a new layer obviously so this is how the white brush looks decrease the opacity to about 30 percent and uh, this is how the gold brush will look It's up to you which one you prefer on your thumbnail. Uh, now the next step is to add uh, some bl uh, black brushes on the on the sides. So set your foreground color to black. Increase the size of the brush, and then hold and drag across uh, the edges on a new layer. Then press Control J. Go to Edit transform flip horizontal and then press ctrl a and this button right here you must uh, have the move tool selected 
and then press this button then control D to deselect and control E to merge and decrease the opacity uh, to about 50% uh, something like that uh, the next step uh, again is unnecessary but I thought it looked nice so I added a purple uh, brush like so uh, set purple to or whatever color you want to your foreground color then uh, hold alt and then press backspace and then uh, with your erase tool uh, with a hardness of zero um, erase a small part like so and then set the blend mode to screen and then decrease the opacity have it somewhere around 20 percent and uh, that's it for uh, the lighting effects now on to uh, the cc's first of all you will need to add a bit of brightness contrast um, so increase the contrast until you think it looks nice Maybe your uh, thumbnail is a bit too dark, so you might want to increase the brightness as well. So maybe around 15. Um, the next step is to add uh, gradient maps. So uh, it's, it's a good idea to add uh, the main two colors of your thumbnail as the gradient map, uh, as I have done here. Then set the blend mode to soft light and then decrease uh, the opacity um, another uh, color combination that you can use uh, is this one right here it makes your thumbnail a bit warmer so it can uh, look nice sometimes depending on uh, your thumbnail but again don't get over carried um, keep the opacity low um, now the next thing uh, you want to add is color balance. Um, so what you do with color balance is um, drag it onto one side uh, and then the other and decide which side uh, on which side it looks the best. So here I think red looks the best. So I'm going to go with like seven. Then let's see. Uh, I think uh, magenta is better uh, so around minus 14 and here uh, I think blue so plus 10 something like that um, and the final step is to add a photo filter you can uh, let's say select one and then with your arrow keys go along to see what looks best I think uh, deep red would look, would look nice. Uh, so let's say the opacity is around 50. And then let's see with all the effects that we have added. Let's group it. So as you can see, it looks much better uh, than before. Thank you for watching uh, this tutorial. It's been a short one. Um, if you want to see um, a tutorial on how to add finishing touches on your banners or headers, leave a like. Um, I will make sure to do that if this video hits 100 likes. Um, but that's all from me today. Thank you for watching once again. Make sure to subscribe, turn on channel notifications so you never miss a video. Uh, but that's all. Thank you for watching once again. Bye.